Colorado. Also, that's not exactly business. There. This is my dad, and the last time I saw him was back in February, until he arrived in Santiago a week ago. Hey! This is my dad. How you feeling? Today, the rest of my family arrives, marking the beginning of our trip around Chile together. Here they are, they're coming, they're coming. Uh. Oh my god, she's thick! Oh. Hey. This is my mom. She's insanely stubborn and the most positive person I know. You're brilliant. Am I bigger? I think you are. Oh, that's yeah. Good, yeah. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> You're way taller. Yeah, you guys are little. You know, I've been eating really since we got to the airport. It's McDonald's fries. That's all you This is my sister Sydney. She's 11. She's pretty annoying, and I love her. And the lady asked what we wanted for, um, to eat. And she thought that the lady said chicken banana, <laughs> but it was chicken in banana. It's only 10 months since she left. Only 10 months? Seems longer than that so much. Oh, did you miss me, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon I'm, I've changed this year? Or am I just the same? You haven't changed, but you're certainly more independent, like, more mature. Traveling with your family is different. When you first arrive in a new country, everything seems different, everything's new, everything's a challenge. And as the months go on, what seemed crazy before just becomes your new normal. But being able to share those experiences and things you've learned with your family... Is this your first time banana, It's your first metro! ...takes you back to that feeling you had in the beginning. People don't change per se, unless there's a major event in your life. But debatably, moving country is quite a major event. I don't think it is, because when you move country, you, one of the things you realise is life is once you get into a routine, it's much the same. If so I was here at the cafe watching people go past and buy, I could be anywhere at the moment in Australia, Europe. Whoa! Whoa! to the volcano. How are we feeling team? Oh, are you guys pumped? Never seen excited. Never seen excited. <laughs> the city of Santiago, climbed volcanoes in Pucon, stayed in a log cabin in the south of Chiloé before jumping on another plane. Two nights in Valparaíso, Christmas with my host family and my real family all together, followed by a five-day trip through the desert in the north. An all-nighter to say goodbye to some of the best friends I'd made over the last 11 months, followed by New Year's in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and a boat to Uruguay. Time was passing so fast I could barely believe it. But seeing my family made me realise it was time to come home. I can't believe I'm flying home tomorrow. It's unreal. I think living in another country allows you to actually find out who you are and where your place in the world is. 
New Zealand's very isolated and you actually don't even understand what it is to be New Zealander in Petro.